What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, I wanted to talk about vouchers for a minute. Now, the thing is, uh, for those who've been following this channel, you know that I love to sell my vouchers as quickly as I can get them. And I usually sell them into either SPS or into DEC if I'm planning to buy some cards, or sometimes just into HBD if I want to hold them uh, or hold like a stable coin for the time being before I decide what to do with that value. Now, voucher prices have actually picked up quite significantly. I think they're about 50 cents now uh, as of the time of this recording from a low of maybe like the, the low 30 cent range. And my thought process now is changing. I am still probably going to sell some vouchers, um, but I'm not going to sell them all. And the reason for that is because there are some liquidity provider rewards in uh, that are that will be coming up in about a week or so. Now, I was surprised to see this, but we did hear, I guess, a little preview of it on the town hall, and then uh, it came out in the post as well. But 375,000 SPS is going to be given out per month for the voucher Hive pool on Hive Engine. So let me go ahead and just actually pull that up. Um, now, here's the thing. There's not much liquidity in this right now, so I expect it to grow significantly over time. I haven't calculated the uh, the APR, but we can go ahead and do that now. So if you were to put money in, and uh, here, let's go ahead and bring the calculator up. Um, well, let me, let me before I actually calculate the APR, the main reason behind this is I never liked holding vouchers because they weren't income producing, right? They weren't, they would just sit there and I could speculate on the price, but that was... You know, I, what am I going to do? Flip vouchers? I don't know. It's like that that didn't really make much sense to me. I would rather take them, include them as part of my SPS APR, sell them. And at the time, I was usually just selling them for more SPS, which would get me more SPS and more vouchers overall. So that was the thought process for a long time. But now that there are other ways to hold vouchers while still earning with these LP rewards, I think it could be actually very lucrative just based on the, the low liquidity here. So let's go ahead and calculate this and uh, hopefully my math will be right. Now, there's only $34,000 in liquidity. Uh, so if you wanted to get like 1% of the pool, it's going to be $341, right? So if you were to put $341 and you'd be getting 1% of the pool, and so let's go ahead and actually calculate that out. That's 375,000 SPS tokens per month. So we multiply, or we divide this by 30 to get your, your kind of daily uh, SPS breakdown. And of this 12,500 SPS given out every single day, you get 1% of that. So you get 125 SPS for holding $341 worth of liquidity. Um, now, again, $341 worth of liquidity is 1% right now. But like I said, I expect this to grow significantly uh, over time. And I, I think I'm going to show you why, because this number, is, this number is about to be kind of insane. So 125 SPS tokens. Now, SPS is currently trading at a price of, I think, 5.6 cents. But I, I'm let me let's actually just get conservative for a second. Um, let's let's just say it, it kind of levels out at five cents, just to make things super easy. So now you're making six dollars and twenty-five cents in value per day for holding three hundred and forty-one dollars worth of liquidity. This is where it gets crazy because let me divide this by the 341. Your daily percentage rate is 1.8 percent. You multiply this by 365. And your APR is 668%. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, isn't it? 668% holding Hive and vouchers, both of which I actually don't mind holding because I want to have some expo exposure to, to Hive. So like I said, this is probably going to expand significantly in the near future. And so if you can get in early, you'll probably get some sweet APRs but it's going to decrease significantly over time. And if you remember here, you know, 375 is the lowest amount uh, based on, you know, all, all of these. So I don't think that that is going to, you know, I, I, this, it's not going to stay that low for a while. Because when you look at, for example, some of the other SPS uh, places here, this has one, you know, SPS Hive has 1.2 million in liquidity. At DEC, SPS has 1.2 million in liquidity, right? Like, I mean, even like if swap.eth and SPS has 143,000. So there is, you know, th there's a lot, <laughs> a lot of money in, in these other, in these other pools, uh, way more than 34,000. But 
if you can get in, and I do believe that is probably why we've seen an uptick in voucher prices so far, is because that APR is going to be insane. I'm sure there are people out there, especially the the whales who are might not be happy about the fact that I'm sharing this. But again, I didn't realize how high the APR was going to be as soon as I started calculating it. I knew I wanted to I wanted to share it with you guys because I knew that there was going to be something there, right? Anything that's above zero for me was good enough for me to at least hold some vouchers. But dang, that's a lot. So let me know your thoughts. I'm going to leave this video right here because I think that's all that you need to know. Uh, again, this is this is not financial advice. This is not um, this is not financial advice. This is not even game advice. This is literally like I'm just sharing with you what I'm planning to do and why I'm planning to do it. So you don't, you shouldn't. I don't know what's going to happen to the prices of these tokens. SPS uh, or v vouchers and Hive could both fail. But the point is that it seems as though there's a non-zero positive return on holding your vouchers and Hive in. Uh, in, in the liquidity pools. Now, granted, you still get the risk of impermanent loss, so make sure you do your own research on that, and you still get the risk of both assets coming down in value, so it's not like it's a safe and uh, you know completely risk-free investment. Um, but for me, wanting to hold vouchers and valuing vouchers not for their dollar value, but for the voucher value itself, one voucher equals one voucher, I wouldn't mind doing this now, and actually it seems I'll even have an added incentive due to the fact that I am able to get um, I'm able to get a return while having exposure to vouchers. And then when something like a Rift Watchers comes out or a promo card or whatever the case is, that is going to be very valuable to to be uh, to be able to pull that out of the liquidity pool whenever needed because I'll be able to pull out the vouchers no matter what the dollar perspective is. Again, it's going to change and this is where the impermanent loss comes in, but please do your own research on that. I am just letting you know that I'm not going to be selling all my vouchers anymore. I'll still be selling some of them, but not all of them. And in the uh, spirit of transparency, which I like to give on this channel, that is the plan. So let me know your plans in the comments below. If my math was off for any reason and that number seemed too high to you, then then let me know, but that everything seemed to check out. And again, with the low liquidity that's currently in there, uh, it seems as though there's a big arbitrage opportunity. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that number increase significantly, probably into the, the six figures very soon, or at least over the next week. So that's all I have for you. Have an amazing rest of your day. I will catch you all in the next video, and I will see you around the game. Take care.